You know, sometimes the best driver updates aren't the huge flashy ones that promise brand new features. Nope, they're the quiet ones, the ones that just sneak in and fix that one little thing that's been driving you absolutely nuts. And today we're talking about exactly that kind of update. So let me ask you this. Have you ever fired up a game and just felt like something's not right? Maybe the colors look all washed out and kind of blah? Or maybe your favorite game has just decided to crash to the desktop for no reason at all. If you're not in your head right now, you're definitely going to want to hear this. And here it is, the unsung hero, GeForce Game Ready Driver 591.59. Now, this driver isn't here to shout from the rooftops about some next-gen DLSS or a new reflex feature. Nah, this is what we call a maintenance release. Its whole job is to put out fires and make your current setup more stable. And honestly, that can be way more valuable. Okay, let's get to the main event, the absolute number one reason you should probably hit that update button. We're talking about a particularly nasty color bug that was actually introduced in the last driver, so this whole problem popped up whenever people were running games at a non-native resolution. And let's be real, a ton of us do this. Whether you're dropping the res to squeeze out some extra frames per second, or you're a competitive player using a specific stretched resolution. This is not some weird niche setting. And man, this quote just nails what people were seeing. The symptoms were impossible to miss. Your colors just look dull, faded, and, well, wrong. It's that super frustrating feeling where you know the picture is messed up, even if you can't put your finger on exactly why. It just completely ruins the whole vibe. So who was getting hit by this? Well, the list is surprisingly broad. It affects everyone from gamers just trying to get higher frame rates to esports pros with their custom resolutions, and even people with those beautiful ultra-wide monitors. Oh, and yeah, if you hook your PC up to a TV for some couch gaming, you could have seen it too. This was a really widespread issue. And here is the fantastic news. This update completely squashes that bug. It's gone. NVIDIA has officially marked this one as resolved. So if this has been your reality, this driver is your top priority. It's time to get your vibrant colors back. All right, so moving on from the big color bug, this driver is also a targeted stability patch. Think of it as a special firefighting mission designed to put out very specific problems in a few games and system features. And what's really cool here is just how specific these fixes are. For Enshrouded, it's tackling instability on the newest GPUs. For Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it fixes this really weird bug where HDR would just stop working if you had smooth motion turned on. I mean, that's the kind of thing that would have you pulling your hair out. And for Dying Light the Beast, it fixes crashes that only started happening after the last drive. Now this one, this is a big deal for anyone with a home theater PC setup. This driver fixes an issue where turning on RTX HDR on certain TVs would just give you a black screen. That's not a little glitch. That's the kind of error that gives you a mini heart attack and makes you think you just broke something really expensive. So this fix is bringing some major peace of mind. So we've gone over the color bug, the game stability patches, and that scary TV fix. Let's bring it all together and answer the million dollar question. Should you update to this driver right now? Let's make this super simple. Here's your guide. First, if you have that washed out color bug, yes, update. It's urgent. Go do it. Second, if you play in Shrouded, Valhalla, or Dying Light, the answer is a definite yes. Third, if you use RTX HDR on your TV, it is highly recommended. And finally, what if your system is running perfectly? No problems at all. Well, then you can call this one optional. It's still a solid update, but not a must have. Now, in the interest of full transparency, it's not quite perfect. There is one little known issue still hanging around. You can't uncheck the show notification tray icon option in the control panel. Look, it's not a game breaker by any means, but it is a small annoyance that's still on their to-do list. So what's the big takeaway here? It's this, a quiet, focused maintenance driver like this one is often one of the best and safest updates you can install. It's not introducing a dozen new things that could potentially break. It's simply making your existing experience better and more reliable. And in the world of PC gaming, stability is king. An update like this just proves NVIDIA is listening to our bug reports. So that gets me thinking and I wanna ask you, if you could get the developers to fix just one annoying bug in the next driver release, what would it be? Let everyone know your most wanted fix down in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what's bugging you guys.